Washington State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. The Buffaloes, in talking with them this week, Kirk, it's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 25. Complete brought down, nothing to do. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. pressure he wants it all and he's got his receiver it's the sophomore and they make the stop at the 39 and the receiver shows us why he's considered one of the fastest on the team you know you often hear the term deceptive speed and how certain players have it but i'll tell you what there's nothing deceptive about this guy's speed he can flat out fly it's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Who there? Who there? Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. go, there go. Bumba! The defense scoops it up. There he goes. He's at the 20. He scores. What a play. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This is a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. Nearly intercepted. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Hey, 
Mike 51, Mike 51. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle at the 49-yard line. The pass good for maybe seven yards. Hey, they picked up an ice gate at seven yards on that play. Great pass. Third down again. Gets it off as he's hit, complete. And he's level at the 49. And the screen pass goes nowhere. This is just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. I'm not gonna fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You wanna be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Washington State is up by a touchdown. He gets rid of this one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49. to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. I'm a huge fan of the play action pass in college football because the play action, it really puts a lot of pressure on defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game and it puts them out of position and it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. That makes it second and 10. From the 24 yard line, second down. He guns it left side. And he's got it. Going the other way now. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. From their own 12-yard line. First down. Straight run, nothing going on there. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. That's good for him. Third down. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He might have a chance. Gains his way to the 40 yard line. That's a gain of 20 on the play. First down. it out to maybe the 43 yard line from their own 43 yard line second down and a quick throw he's tackled right around the 48 yard line any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this that'll bring up third and two So we're looking at another third down here. Get out, get out. Mike, 
This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, Washington State. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Watch the run. Watch the run. Mike 51. Mike 51. Go, go. Brought down at the 44. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he got it to the sophomore. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. That's good for a game. From the 32-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Mike 13. Mike 13. He's taken down at the 17. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play-action, uh, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at. But make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. He makes it to the 15-yard line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. He guns it. Incomplete. Almost picked off. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. And he's hit immediately. Fires it out. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Colorado to kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Washington State holds a four-point lead. Swings it out there incomplete. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Completes it across the middle. And they make the stop on the 36-yard line. He's hit and taken down. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. Zips it to the back. He's at the 20. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him on the first and goal. Washington State is up four. You know, when you 
feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Caught out in the open. Tackle made at the three. They come out on an empty backfield. And he is drilled at the one-yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He makes it to the 25-yard line, and the halfback's got nowhere to go. Two minutes left in the half. Colorado's going to take their first time out of the half. Out of bounds at the 30. Gets it out quickly. Gaining five on the play. That'll make it 35. And he just gets rid of it. That's going to bring up fourth down. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He fields the punt at the 20. Tackle at the 27-yard line. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. Second and eight coming up here. All on their own 29. He's scrambling. And he can't get away from the pressure. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. And he hits him hard at the 17-yard line. Down he goes again. And if they keep putting pressure on him like this, he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker, which could very possibly lead to turnovers. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Oh, excellent punt. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. The Buffaloes know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he tackles him hard at the 26. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it second and 10. From the 26 yard line, it's second down. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Even though they 
they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Going for it all to the end zone. This one's intercepted. It's the sophomore safety. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled right away. The Cougars will use their first time out of the half. for 39 yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Second time out of the half. From the 45 yard line. First down. They come out in a five wide set. He heaves it deep. Caught sideline and he stays in. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only could turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. Protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. This is the 11th play of this drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Five. Washington State's out of timeout. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. It's up, and it is good. We played a half of football. Washington State leads 17-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There's no question you'd rather be up by two scores as opposed to being down by two scores. I mean, David, I totally... That was an easy answer, look, yes. I, I totally <laughs> get that. But I think there is a mindset there that when you have that two-score lead, you're trying to protect something. You don't want to give it up. And if you allow the other team to get close, then, then things can get tied on you. Can a two-score edge sometimes be a little bit dangerous just in terms of mindset? I think mindset and also with coaches. A lot of times you see coaches, they get less aggressive. You know, especially on the defensive side of the football, when you get up two scores and you had so much success blitzing the first half and applying pressure, 
Now you're not as comfortable leaving out guys on an island playing man to man and giving up big plays. So I think you got to make sure that you continue to do what you are doing. Don't make those big mistakes, but also don't stray away from the game plan. Right now, what it, what you've implemented has worked. Continue to do it. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. There's a strike complete. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled around the 23-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Just throws this one away. Let's see how the quarterback handles this one. It's third and goal from the seventh. Gets it up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. the ball inside. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. First down. A 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 47. And he throws it away. rid of this one third down and they need to get it inside the 43 boss is out to the tailback on the screen and he's taken down right around the 48 yard line going to try to cough and corner this one. Here's the... Nope, they snap into the up back. He makes it to the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line. First down. Go, four, go! He's at the 30. Makes it out to about the 29. He's taken down at the 27. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Here they come. Slings it out there incomplete. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Looks middle. Got his back. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. is up and he got it and he's got to be happy about that kick oh no question this kid is just a solid kicker 20 to 6 washington state colorado, colorado is lining up to kick this one off excellent kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback the cougars really had a tough first half and i got to give them credit for hanging in there and uh, turning things around here in the third quarter you're right brad they could have just shut it down as bad as they looked in the first half but great perseverance by the entire offensive unit it's paid back off back-to-back -back drives now they've gotten points up on the board well, the defense held them to three on their last possession pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better and he's tackled at about the 29 yard line and a quick throw and he's hit immediately. They get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. Tackle made at the 35. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. From their own 35-yard line, second down. So don't say nothing. Flips it, middle to the running back. And they make the stop at about the 45. That'll make it 31. He gets it out to about the 47 yard line. Lose 
four there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Second down and 14. Ball on the 49-yard line. Five wide. He gets rid of this one. And this play is number eight on the drive. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 20 to six, Washington State. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Tackle at the 31. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He's scrambling. Decides to slide. Gets it. He's in space. He's knocked out of bounds at the 14 yard line. job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 14-yard line, second down. And he can't get away from the pressure. Fourth and long here after the sack. Kicks up, and he's got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Throws complete, he's hit right away. Number 13 on the tackle at the 32-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick throw, and he's got the tight end again. That's a game of three on the play. First down. He wants it all. This one will fall incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 35. And he's sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. So the sack makes this third and very long. Mike 
lets it fly. It's complete. Very clutch tackle there because this kid had some space. It's very disappointing for this team to be down by over three possessions. But at the same time, I just think right now they're showing a lot of character and playing for pride and continuing to play until the final whistle blows. That makes it first and ten. Less than three minutes in the game. Throws this one out to the right. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. What a display of pure speed. You know, any time this guy touches the ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice seven-play, 75-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So the hands team does their job, and the onside is not successful. When people talk about special teams winning football games, they're usually talking about blocking kicks and big returns. But the onside return team can be just as important. And right now, these guys may have sealed the deal with that recovery. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes it out to about the 30. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. Use their second timeout. They run the option, and the pitch man will get credit for a nine yard gain. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Tackle that reducing pickup. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down and allows them to continue to work this clock. They hand it off again. That's a great tackle at the 19. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. From the 19-yard line, it's second down. A little over a minute in the game. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. That makes it fourth and four. So that's going to do it. The Cougars with a victory, 23-13. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.